Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Bungle Collects. Don't go anywhere because not only have I got uh, £250 worth of 50 pences to hunt through to hopefully add something to the book to fill this uh, fill this album up, I've also got quite a few channel updates for you. So I'll, uh, I'll show you the book, I'll get the 50 pences on the table and then I'll give you them updates. So don't go away for a, for a few minutes. Uh, right, the book. Last time we got Sir Isaac Newton, which is a fantastic find. It was a pretty rubbish hunt, but then we were able... Oh, wait, I say we. Oh, we. We were able to then pull out an Isaac Newton almost uh, almost at the last. So what do I need to fill me uh, to fill me book up? Uh, WWF. A lot of Olympics, because I don't have that many. Uh, yeah, they're Olympics as well. I need the Team GB Rio Olympics, which is absolutely unbelievable from 2016. Really high mintage. But still haven't been able to find it. And I've got uh, got everything else. And where is that lovely Isaac Newton? There it is. No, it wasn't in the best of condition. I'll just bring it up and show you. It wasn't in the best of condition. It's got a few marks on it. But uh, who would throw back an Isaac Newton? I don't know. Right, so hopefully we'll get some more Olympics in this hunt. Right, get the 50p's. Whoops, get the 50 pence. Let the, let the bear see the monkey, as it were. Get the 50 pences out. This is part of the... £750 that I got all in one go from the post office last week. So the, the hunt that went up on Friday, it's the same kind of batch. Ba batch? Same kind of batch. And it wasn't exactly amazing until the Isaac Newton was pulled out. So hopefully we'll get something similar. Right, channel announcements. So I'm going to announce that this is the, uh, this is the new channel mascot. For the uh, for the time being, this little uh, this little fella that I got from Gibraltar, he's supposed to do some kind of dance, but I've either broke him on the way back from Gibraltar. Oh, there's much better announcements than that, by the way. I'm just kind of building up to like amazing, like a amazing, but a, a much better announcement. But anyway, so that um, this fella who needs a name, this monkey, gone from Gibraltar. I think he might have been broken the on the way back, but I'm keeping him because. He brought us tremendous luck last week. Wasn't very good up until that Isaac Newton was found. But enough to keep him around for another hunt. Oh, didn't think he was going to focus there. There's our first one, Sherlock Holmes. So Sherlock Holmes is going to go onto the mat. So that's the first announcement. The monkey is staying until the, the luck turns. Next announcement. The, the Lady M's not here. You'll probably get, won't get Lady M until... Sunday, which kind of goes to the next announcement. So this is this will upload. I film this today and upload tomorrow, Tuesday. I'll probably need to do Thursday's hunt on my own as well. Similar idea with this batch of fifty pences. But then on Sunday we are live streaming, and Lady M will be back for that one. So if anyone is missing Lady M, then do join us at ten a.m. on Sunday morning for the live stream. There is public libraries taking a long time to focus the camera today. Not very, not not very valuable that one. That'll just go in the middle with all the standard, the standard finds. There is a Paddington at the station. The rarest of all the Paddingtons. Five million. Was it five million and a thousand that one? Something like that. In the Paddington corner, certainly the rarest one. So we've got a good chance of being able to complete Paddington corner in this episode. I'll just finish this bag off. I'll give you the next announcement talked about the monkey you've seen Isaac in the book live stream 31st of October 2021 10 a.m uh, what we're going to do on the live stream all right okay so I've got post to open we have got it's a bit mucky. oh I thought I, I thought it was Olympic there but I think I can see I'm gonna am I, I gonna zoom in a bit can't can never really make my mind up on my so, solo hunts whether I should zoom in for each one or do it down there and bring it up. I'll stick with this for the minute because I got a few complaints with the last one that I was too too zoomed in. I know you can't please everybody all of the time. Come on, camera. There we go. Girl Garden, two thousand and ten. Hundred years of Girl Garden. Another basic find. Not worth not worth out. Right Sunday. So we haven't live streamed for a while. And we're only going to be we're only live streaming every now and again, but I do have loads and loads to get through. I think we'll be on, on for quite a while on Sunday. There's dictionaries, little print next to there, a little mini set with libraries, libraries, books, books and dictionaries. Oh, 
There is the Scouts. Smashing. 2007 Scouts. Come on. Focus for me, baby. 2007. Again, just a 50 pencer. But I'll put him next to Girl Guides there, a little, little mini set. So what have we got? We've got posts to open. We've got scratch cards or trading cards to scratch off from Change Checker because we've got some new coins that we're going to uh, to show you. New coins that will go into my album that's got every 50 pence since 1969 in. Uh, apart from the one with the swimmer with the lines across the face. So I've got the new coins to go in. What else, what else have I got? I made myself a note. Oh yes, I've got a tre treasure chest to go through. The Lady M's, Lady M's Nana, I guess. There is the diversity built Britain. I was just trying to make sure whether it was a great, whether it was a great, great, great. Oh, look at that fella! There we go. We'll get, we'll get on to Lady M's great grandma in a minute. That is from the Saint Helena Islands, two thousand and six. Get in there, Saint Helena Ascension. So I'm happy that these are not throwbacks. No coin collector would throw that uh, that fella back. I've actually got the Andrews book with me at the minute. Because I was looking at some of the value going. It's going to go over that B as a plum find. I'll get it out in a minute. Let's finish, just finish this uh, this bag off. And we'll see what kind of value the Andrews book gives it. There we go, i use this one. If Andrews Coins UK is watching... And if you've got a new version out this year, you want to send us a freebie, do feel free. Do feel free, because I do use this a lot. Uh, certainly for territories. It's the only book I've really got for territories. Because I get other values from either eBay and things as well. I do use the Checky Change app. I took this to Gibraltar with us and it got wet in the bag. So it is not... Oh, in fact, there it is, St. Helena. Right, let's have a look. Turtle, 2003, 2006... Circulated five to seven quid. We have got a plum. Plum, plum alert. Plum alert. It was 2006, wasn't it? Get in. So you wouldn't expect to see this in UK change. It was minted for them guys in the middle of the ocean. And now it's found its way in a bungles collection. And it's five to seven quid worth. Get in, you beauty. So Lady M's nana, I think. I mean, Lady M's getting on a bit. So And, and a nana has been gone for... For some years but anyway her mom found her nana's uh, coin collection so if anyone has an interest in pre-decimal coins or can give me an idea of value of pre-decimal coins because i don't think there's many out there that are really particularly valuable there's another diversity over 10 million of these fellas two for this hunt so i don't think there's many that are particular va particularly valuable that have to be a maybe it's a particular year that was super duper valuable so, so, I need, so i'll need the guys you know the likes of coin patrol and probably macamula coins and and maybe his laughter to tune in on sunday as we're to go through this che treasure chest so it's a it's a tin and it's a it's a big tin and i, and I have i've only had a very very quick look because i didn't want to i didn't want to spoil it oh yes yes do 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 we've got an olympic it's a plum. What's it going to be? It's archery. Archery. Happy with that. Happy to get any Olympic. I'm sure I've got archery. It is the most common of all the Olympics at 3.3 million, is it? Not sure. I think I've got that one. But uh, you will not. You will not be find me complaining. Loving it. There is a Brexit. Not a fan of the Brexit coin. I think it's pretty boring, but it does form a little mini set with diversity. The uh, brexit -y Brexit is set. 10 millions of each. Give or take a coin or two. Anyway. So yes, there's a there's a there's a big I don't know how big is it? About about that big. Silver tin, heavy duty tin, full of pre-decimal coins and some other there's other bits and I don't think there's anything in there that isn't a coin, but there's like news articles in and things like that, I think, to do with coins. So I can't wait to get dug into that. So if anyone anyone who knows anything about three decimal coins, please do tune in on Sunday. Or watch it on catch up. I guess you don't have to be there for for for, for the live stream, but it'd be better if we could interact as we went along. There is Benjamin of the Bunny. Benjamin the 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 bunny thereof. Just looking for some rotation errors. Coin patrol. Edge inscriptions. No. 
I will be, oops, sorry, uh, monkey. So I'm gonna have a play of the Benjamin Bunny game. How many Benjamin Bunnies will I find? How many will get a Bungle S written on them and back into circulation? In this hunt, we're gonna find three, just three. So let me know what your guess is and see how close you got. He's a keeper, Beatrix Potter. The anniversary from 2016. It's in nice condition, that as well. Again, not particularly valuable. Maybe it's a quid, but in nice, nice condition. And I'm putting it down, down there with the plums. Anyway, so back to this big treasure chest. So you don't have to watch live, I don't suppose. Peter Rabbit, tail there off, 2017. Very common. Put it in the 2000, 2017 Potter's Go down there. Well, yeah, can't wait to get through. I can see there's definitely there's loads of sixpences and threepenny bits and uh, bigger pennies. I, I reckon there'll be some with a eighteen hundred date on. I don't. I don't think that they're all going to be. Um, I don't think they're all going to be in the the. Uh, sorry, I'm just looking at what this is. This should be Benjamin Britten. Yeah, hey, it's nice. Take that as well. It's another keeper. Composer boring. Looks like it should say, doesn't it? It's Composer Born in 1913. But look, compute, Composer Boring. It's a bit boring, that coin. And it's a little bit, it's a little bit busy. I'm putting it in the plums though. I don't find it, uh, I don't find it that often. And it's certainly better than finding a diversity with 10 million of them. It's only 5.3 million maybe of the Benjamin Britons in circulation. There's Jeremy Toad Boy, Jeremy Frog Boy. Three out of the four 2017 Potter set. Just need Tom Kitten with his eyes. And that will be complete. I'm going to sell this. I'm going to finish this story. This, this treasure box, I don't know. But anyway, it looks like treasure to me. And I can't wait to dig through it. So if you know something about it, tune in. Or watch afterwards. There's another dictionary. And if you don't know anything about pre-decimal coins, and I don't know much... Well, join in the live stream and we can learn together. Right, what else is going to happen on the live stream? So there's posts, there's trading cards, there's new coins. There is the treasure chest. Oh, yes, there's also, I'll be showing you the Gibraltar Hall. So everything that we got from Gibraltar, including the uh, in this monkey, will be revealed on the live stream. So you'll get to see every, every coin that we got that we were either traded or got from the bank. I even sold a few coins while I was there right at the end. I must upload that video. Ah, there's a question. How long has this been going on for now? Where's the... Does it say how long we've been? Mm. Oh, there we go. 12 minutes. Oh dear, 13 minutes. So you, you probably need to stay a little bit longer than five minutes to find out everything that's going on. So the other thing I want to talk about is uh, our other channel. So if you want to see more of Lady M and I, we do have a second channel called The Adventures of Bungle and Lady M. So when we get out and about, so we go away on holiday, days out, uh, down to the Royal Mint, hop over to Gibraltar, and we do put all our travel vlogs on there. There's another. Oh, messed that up. Another Brexit coin, two Brexit, two full Brexity sets now. So it'd be nice if you went over there and had a little subscribe. So let's see what you uh, see what you thought of it. I'd like to get to a thousand subscribers. We're uh, languishing at 300 and odd, I think. Another Brexit. And it does take, uh, yeah, not really going anywhere, that channel. But there's some cool stuff on there. Our A to Z adventures are on there when we went around the country looking for all the sites that are on the A to Z 10Ps. Um, movie kind of sets as well. Or t well, not movie, but TV sets, TV locations. So it's quite cool. So, yeah, the adventures of Bungle and Lady M. I think on, I'll put it in the description. So you can just click on it. Um, but if not, just, just type it in and, and find us. Because there's plenty more Gibraltar vlogs to go on there. Talk about some of the coins that I sold. Uh, we went to a wildlife kind of sanctuary and things like that. And just basically just went round uh, went round Gibraltar. And it is coin related because we went into a into a couple of coin shops. I haven't had edited the videos yet, like so I don't know when they're gonna go up. So definitely definitely worth a subscribe. So the adventures. A bungle and Lady M. There was nothing in that bag. Right, uh, but back to the live stream. I'll show you every coin that we were able to get our grubby mitts on uh, on that uh, on that live stream. And also, with a bit of luck, we'll get to play.
play along the, the 50p hunt away. You can all join in for a pound each and we'll spin the wheel. And if your name gets pulled out, you can pick the coin that you want out of the coin hunt. We're just about, we, we do right in front of you. So for example, if this had been the live stream bag, then if your name had been pulled out, you could pick one of these plums and I'm sure it would have been that turtle. And it'd be good value for a pound. Although sometimes all you get is the Benjamin Bunny. It is the look of the draw. I suppose technically it could be a Kew Gardens as well. But although never a football. I've never, never ever found one of them. Right, is that all the news? No, no, I've still got a good job. I left a note for myself, otherwise I would never have remembered. I'm looking for the uh, the key dates as we go along as well, everybody. So the, the NIFC dates and the, the low mintage dates on the 50Ps. So don't worry. I do look for them as well. Right, so uh, members, so we're live streaming on Sunday morning, but we're also live streaming on Monday the 1st of November at 7pm. So we live stream on the 1st of every month at 7pm for our members that you guys that pay, excuse me, who pay our, or pay your 99 pence to, uh, to join the channel. So if you're a, a channel member, then do please tune in then on Monday the 1st. So it's a select group, there's not many, not many of us. And we get to, I'll be doing the, the members draw, so the members prize, and it will be some Gibraltar coins. Ooh. Hang on. Mm. So this is a 2000, ooh. Ooh. so this is a 2017 coin. And if it has a flat top, and it doesn't have, it does not have 50 pence written on it. So it's either a shield or a Newton. And if it has a flat top, it's a shield. And if it has a pointy top, it's a Newton. And it's been that long since I've really found any. I think it's a shield. I think that's a flat top. Yeah, it is. So 2017 shield. Low mintage, 1.8 million. These are my retirement fund. I'm kind of hoping that they will go, they will rocket in value at some point. Because I've got a, I've got quite a I've got quite a lot of them. Paddington at come on, Paddy. There we go, Paddington at St. Paul's. Two out of the four of the Paddington corner required. There's another diversity. I'll stick that there on the pile. So what was I saying, members. So yes, yeah, so the members prize for this month, the, the bundle, no, the bungle bundle is going to be some Gibraltarian coins. So a nice spread of all the different Gibraltar coins that, uh, that we kind of got. So if you'd like to join the channel before then, please do. Go onto the home page on YouTube for our channel, our channel's home page. Click the join button and you can sign up. And it's 99 pence a month. Please only sign up if you want to. Please only sign up if you can, if you can afford it. And you can cancel at any time. And also please sign up for the, for the cut of our jib. Don't sign up for the, the, the prize draw. It's going to be a lovely prize draw. The, the prize is lovely this, um, this time this month but it's usually just just tat it's just a bit it's just a bit of fun 2018 50 pence could be paddy could be people act i reckon it is it's a dirty people act different coin though different one but this one's got some nice variety uh, and also members i will be selling um i'll be putting a, a sale up i'll be selling some of the gibraltar coins oh there's another 2017 shield I'll be selling some of the gibraltar coins so do uh, do tune in for that. You don't need to be there live, of course. You can just watch it at your leisure. There'll be plenty, plenty there at a at a good price. Members, I say I don't advertise very often. I sell coins, and I very rarely sell them at all. But I tend to sell them to members. They get a good deal, and it's a nice, safe place for everybody. You know, you, you know what you're getting is legit. And also, I don't get, I don't have to deal with idiots. Um, you know, all a hassle. So it's just another little perk of being being a member. You can buy some Gibraltar coins, or some, and so I'll be putting some more two pound coins up as well. My, I'm hoping to, ooh, Victoria across the medals. I'm hoping, I'm, I'm hoping to raise Victoria across the medals, two thousand and six. I'm hoping to raise a hundred and fifty pound. And that is because I wanted to buy, I've got the opportunity to buy a queue for £150. 
and it's a cube that I sold for £150 to a friend of mine and he's wanting to sell it so I'm wanting to buy it back so I'm thinking if I can sell some coins and make a bit of money then uh, then I'm laughing it doesn't cost me anything you know it doesn't it's only coins that I've got in the collection there's Paddington at the palace keeps Lady M happy anyway because I do spend a few quid every now and again on coins so if I sell a few it kind of balances out you know it's like it doesn't, doesn't cost anything as such you know what I mean. Right, anyway, so that's the member stuff on the 1st of November and the 1st of every month. And the other thing I wanted to say is I need some advice. There's Ironside, 7 million. Hey, got plenty of variety here. Pleased, uh, pleased with these bags. So this year's badges, the, the badges for Christmas. Oh, I thought that looked just ever so slightly different there. There's a jersey coin. Must be the, it's, it's definitely the Gibraltar, Gibraltarian monkey. It's rubbing, rubbing off, 1998. Jersey coin. He's definitely rubbing off this monkey because the uh, the territory finds are still coming. Floss be train of thought. I've just seen Lady M flash past me as well. She must be in She must be in from work. Well, someone who looks like Lady M anyway. What was I saying? You probably heard Sapoonyton bark and he's just coming from a walk with Tech Guy. What was I saying? Oh, badges, yes. So this month's, or this year's badges, I need to decide what to put on them. It'll be the same idea, a set of four different badges. They come in a set. I'll only be ordering the usual, only be selling 20, like I did last year. And I wanted people to have a say in what designs to put on them. So again, I'll be, I'll be really picking the members' brains in the live stream. But if anyone's got any ideas, so last year's badges... There was a uh, like the me emoji, not like so not like an actual picture of me. They they kind of emoji me, if you like. There's one me on, one with Lady M on. There's the tail of Peter Rabbit. That was not. He is not on a. Come on. There we go. He is not on a. He is not on one of our badges. So there's one with me on. There's one with Lady M on. There was the channel logo, and there was the bungle hotspot, as we were playing. Coin strike it lucky for a while there on the live streams. Got to bring that back at some point, I think. Is that the one that cost me two footballs, I think? First time I played it. Anyhow, so that's, um, I'm digressing. Yes, there's another bunny. Two. Two found, only one more needed in order to complete the Benjamin Bunny Challenge. Do look out for your rotation there as well. The Queen is facing a different way. Uh, Bungle Hotspot and the logos. That was the four last year. So this year, one's going to be a plum. So literally a picture of a plum, because of course we have plum finds. Uh, the second one is going to be the emoji of Sir Poochington. So that you guys who are members can use the uh, one of the perks is you can put uh, emojis, channel emojis in your in your comments when you live stream when we're live streaming and when you want to put a comment on a video. So you got mine and Lady M's last year, but Sir Poochington will be on this year. So that's two of them, the Plum and then Sir Poochington. There's diversity again. Um, and it's really about what the other two are. So I was thinking either another one, an actual live picture, like a my, my face, well, obviously with a haircut and a shave. My face wearing a, a Santa hat, because they're, they're, they're going to be like out for Christmas. Lady M's face wearing a Santa hat. Or both of us together, on, and they're only little badges, like little button badges. But me, me and Lady M together in one with a, with a Santa hat on. Or whether there's a, an actual picture of Sir Poochington, so a live picture of Sir Poochington, because he does have a Christmas outfit, and I'm not sure how he's black, so I'm not sure how he's going to show up on the on the coin. But he does have a he does have a Christmas outfit, so I was thinking about maybe he's taking his photo and his Christmas outfit and having that as as one. So there's two that are set, a plum and Sapucci's emoji, the one that, that, that you get see in the comments. And it's basically two out of the other three. Two out of the other two out of the other four, so two out of the four ideas. So Lady M on her own with a Christmas hat is option one. Lady uh, me with a Christmas hat on my own is option two. Option three is both of us together in one picture, both wearing Christmas hats. Or option four is Sir Poochington in his Christmas outfit. So let me know in the comments 
what you think the final, the other two badges should be. And that'll give you an idea. Obviously, I mean, I haven't ordered them or anything yet, so I'm hoping I can get them in time for Christmas. But I uh, don't know yet. Right, last bag. I have talked all the way through that. I am... Uh, I've excelled myself there, I'm sure. I hope I've turned the microphone on. Otherwise, what a waste of a hunt. Especially when uh, there's been some absolute plums. Diversity Built Britain. Oh, and if you're still here, if you're still listening, don't forget to uh, put a like on the video, if you will. Put a little thumbs up. It lets me know you care. Helps the channel out. And also, if you're not already, please do subscribe as well. That would be very kind. Right, that is the end of that um, £250 worth of 50 pences. Three out of the four Paddington Corner. Three out of the four 2017 potters some bog standards in the middle there but plenty of plums thanks to thanks to this uh our gibraltar friend here this monkey that doesn't seem to he's supposed to do this you know like but he doesn't anyway right plum so it's two that honorable mentions for the 2017 shields the benjamin britain the beatrix potter anniversary but the and, that, and these are only honorable mentions so well i guess on any other hunt there would definitely be the the plum find Without a doubt. Oh, I need to do a thumbnail as well. But this is the, this is absolutely going to be the plum. No two ways about this. I need to do a, need to do a thumbnail and, oh, and I've won the Benjamin Bunny Challenge as well. So I'll need to sign them and get them into circulation. Right, thumbnail, because I, I messed this up last time and when I tried to take one, it, um, I was ended up looking at myself, pulling a silly face and uh, the coin kind of went over here. So I need to keep the coin still like that. Is that, is that, or does it need to be bigger? Bigger, like that. And then I need to do a, a crazy face, like. <laughs> I'm a big fan of thumbs up. I always like to do a thumbs up. But I don't know whether I abuse it too much, whether I over, over, overuse the thumb, the thumb or not. Right now, well, there we go. <laughs> I don't know, I don't know what else to do, other than like a jazz hand, like a. Ah. Oh, I do that a bit different. There you go. Oh, I'm really nice shy. It's getting dark in the magic studio. No, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Do I just stick with the thumb? Or about an okay? Can you see the can you see the okay? That'll do. <laughs> right. So anything for the book? I don't think so, because I think we've already got archery. And I'm pretty certain I've got, oh, let me zoom out, and I think I've got archery in our second book as well. Oops, too far. I think I've got archery in our second book, the, the change checker. Yeah, yeah, I've got archery. And I think I've got archery because we do any extra Olympics. So in our change checker sports album, where the trading cards are. And I think we've got, uh, yeah, got archery there as well, look. And I say I'm not surprised because it is the most common. It is the most common of all the Olympic coins. Right. See you on Thursday. And if I don't see you on Thursday, I'll see you on Sunday morning for the live stream, 10 a.m. If I don't see you then, members, I'll see you on the 1st of November on the Monday at 7 p.m. Right. Thanks very much for watching. Hang on. I'll stop it. I'll see you in the next episode.